Good morning everyone and welcome to Vlogmas day 20. We're officially in the 20s, which is insane. It means we only have five days of this, five vlogs left. But I just got out of the shower, as you can tell. And I think I'm gonna do a little bit of makeup. The bathroom is still all steamy from my shower. But I don't know what I'm gonna do today. Just don't feel cute right now, so we're gonna fix that. I think in the new year, I'm gonna do an updated makeup routine. So for everyone that's been asking, I'll do it. But I'm just gonna do like my minimal no makeup makeup, which is kind of my go-to. I have a dentist appointment today. I don't want to go to the dentist. It's me! Can I come in? Okay, I just convinced my brothers to come with me to Duncan to do a taste test because my mom's working. So I have to be quiet in here and I can't film anything. Also, um, Al Kennedy sent me like a bunch of Briar merch like a year ago, and I just found it at my parents' house. I'm so excited right now. Anyway, we're gonna go. You can go ahead with your order, sorry about that. It's okay, I placed a mobile order for Stephanie. You can pull around, thank you. Thanks. Hey, wait, do I get it from the window, you think? Or do they bring it to the car? You can pull around? That sounds like pull, oh, she didn't say you can pull up to the window. I feel like probably just go to the normal drive. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Um, uh, I also got don three donuts. So the maple frosted or glaze. <laughs> <laughs> they all sold out. Look at this, this bacon they got a little something, something on <laughs> That's the sugar. Is it sugar? <laughs> yeah, that's the maple glazed sugar. <laughs> Doesn't look great, Craig. That one side looks fine. <laughs> like a little bit of <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. Look, look at how perfect that glazed donut looks. Wait, so they found a glaze? What is this car doing? <laughs> what do, what do I do? Just stared at me like I was doing something <laughs> wrong. Wait, whose is this? We have to figure out. Well, I just got three things for us to try, but you have to use the straw because you're sickly. They don't know what I ordered. I ordered random stuff. I got peppermint mocha coffee. I think that's what this is. Could be good. Fast and rear passenger seatbelt. Why me? <laughs> I think it will stop. I might have to. <laughs> well, you're dang buckle. And then I got, um, I think a hot chocolate. Yeah, toasted, wait, toasted white chocolate, hot chocolate. Spiced cookie iced coffee. Sounded gross to me, so I got it. And then, this is the bacon that I won't be, hey, that looks a bit gross actually, you're right. <laughs> I won't be eating this, but it's, ma it's maple sugar bacon. And I want Craig to try it. Because <laughs> he dips his bacon in syrup. You can eat the not white part. <laughs> and then I got Just regular hash browns. Oh, and they did them well done. Oh, and the donuts. Yeah. Mm. Not crispy, though. I feel like you're going to like them. Uh, oh, so they did make us donuts. <gasps> that was mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, give us a review. <laughs> Wait, eat the white part, actually. <laughs> no. Just to see what it is. What? We should have some real food, too. Yeah. Oh. Oh, my God. It just tastes like bacon. It doesn't even have any flavor. Well, you didn't eat the white part. Yes. Craig, it tastes regular to you because you always dip your bacon in maple anyway. Oh, this is a lather. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just fine. syrup. <laughs> That's what he thought it was normal. <laughs> they made us fresh donuts. She told me they didn't have any glazed, and then they, they made them. I don't really know. What happened there? I'm gonna put my mouth on it and you use a straw. Yeah, it sounds like a plan. Yeah, actually, can you stir it though? This is the spiced cookie latte. Oh, I, it sounds like you approve. I'm <laughs> I think spiced cookie is just like gingerbread, which would make sense, because what else is a spiced cookie? It's really sweet. Okay, you don't like it. Wanna try? No. Oh Always God, down to try new things. Okay, then hot original coffee peppermint mocha swirl. I feel like you like this one because it's just black coffee with the yeah. You can put your mouth on the thing. <laughs> you can keep that one. Barely tastes like flavor, but yeah, peppermint mocha. It tastes like the coffee I made from the Keurig at home yesterday, to be honest. And it wasn't very good. Okay, you can try the hot chocolate. I want my donut. If they're oh. stacked on top of each other oh. like a totem pole. <laughs> oh, well, you're having a maple donut too then. Oh. <laughs> That bag is your placemat. I got a maple donut. That's 
Ma'am. Oh wait, no water bottles in here. Mmm, nice and fresh. Wait, what's in there? Oh, wait, can you <laughs> grab this? Take My hand is oh, disgusting. Ew. What is that? I don't know. What's Why this? is this freezing cold? No, I know. That's what I was confused because she said it's like fresh <laughs> off the conveyor belt and it's like it's in the it's freezer. It's frozen. Greg, you're just getting dripped all over. Oh, I totally forgot I gave you that. <laughs> Greg, you want your donut? Oh, it's Christmas. Show them your donut. Wait, Eric, you haven't been in this whole thing. What? You haven't been. Oh. <laughs> Wait, the whole time. I didn't, I wasn't looking at Me it. Me neither. I wasn't paying attention. Do you show it? I think so. We still have to try the hot chocolate. Will you try that one at least? If I do it first. I wouldn't do it first. No. You can put your mouth on one side and I'll put my mouth on the other. Well, if you want to keep it, then you can have the lid. Cause you're I just not... want to drink first. Because I want that coffee. Eric got that one. You can have that one. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> you can have the hot chocolate. So you You're can put your mouth on it. the lid. No, I'm going to try it, but I, you can put your mouth on the lid and I'll put my mouth on the cup. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we all so weird? <laughs> no, it's kind of getting really hot. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like sweat about to go into my eye. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> it stopped. <laughs> oh my god, you look like Clifford the Big Red Dog. <laughs> why is it so enormous? <laughs> Your head was touching the ceiling. <laughs> oh no, why is it leaking? <laughs> it's because it's so hot in here, my, my donut is That's why they keep it at like cryogenically <laughs> frozen levels. I shoved a bunch of napkins on it. So what fan? <laughs> Whoever used these napkins used the whole clump at once. <laughs> I think they were you. <laughs> and now it's hot chocolate taste. Do you want to try put your mouth on this part? This is white chocolate, hot chocolate. Is it white? I don't know. Is it white or brown? It's brown. Well, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it just tastes like hot chocolate. Uh, Toast. <clears throat> oh my god, that's even Wait, darker than read normal. Read the thing. It says original hot chocolate. Yeah, it says like W Toasted chocolate. Toasted white chocolate swirl. Oh. Mmm. Mm. It doesn't taste like normal. It tastes a little different. Mm -hmm. Why does it kind of taste like frozen yogurt? You want to try? Stick your straw in there? So. <laughs> oh, that was hot. <laughs> yeah, tastes like hot chocolate for sure. Actually, this one tastes really gross after drinking the hot chocolate. Kind of gross. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Your eyelashes look so long right now. Are you wearing mascara? No, my eyelashes are naturally long. No. It's a gift. Must be nice. What are you guys gonna do today? <laughs> literally nothing. I'm literally gonna pass out so hot. Are you actually sweating? <laughs> cool Craig's always so hot. I went in his room and he had like two <laughs> fans going full blast and as soon as I walked in there my toes went numb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have a problem. Literally the rooms in Europe would literally be Ice boxes. I know what Nate was on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Pulling up the sheet of ice <laughs> as your blanket, like SpongeBob. Like SpongeBob. <laughs> well, that was our review. No, I was really barely in there. I don't think you were in it for like the first 15 <laughs> I minutes. I don't think I was even in it. Okay, I am now on my way to my dentist appointment, which I really don't want to go to. I don't like hate the dentist, but like, I just don't like it. <laughs> I don't think anyone likes the dentist. I'm just, I have the same dislike that everyone else has. I just like don't want to go at all right now. I've never been to this specific dentist office. And is it even winter break or summer vacation if you don't have a dentist appointment? No. So that's where I'm off to right now, which is not good since I just had all those Dunkin' drinks. And then I got home and had some popcorn. Pretty sure those are like the worst things you can all have before you go to the dentist. But you know what? It's fine. Um, I've never had a cavity before, so let's hope that that trend continues. Oh my god, driving here stresses me out. Guys, can I go please? Okay, I'm committing. It's so scary. Anyways, it says it's 15 minutes away and my appointment is in 11 minutes, so that's not a good first impression, but you know what? It's fine. Hopefully they don't talk to me. You know when you're on the dentist and they have their hands like, like halfway down your throat and then they're trying to have a conversation with you and you're like gagging on their fingers? and they're trying to like get you to tell them your life story. They're like, oh, where'd you go to school? Where'd you grow up? I'm like, oh. <laughs> oh God. But yeah, I'll let you know afterwards how it goes and what else we'll do on this fine Tuesday? What day of the week is it? Tuesday evening.
I take back what I said about not liking the dentist. I actually hate the dentist. Oh my god. There was like a stretch of time, like five minutes straight, where it was like the most pain I've felt in a very, very long time. Oh my god, there's literally gaps in between my teeth. I swear to god, she was like filing the non-existent gaps between my teeth. My teeth are separated right now because of how ham she was going with that little scraper in between my teeth and then around my gums. Oh my God, I, that was so, I had tears streaming down my face involuntarily. Like I wasn't trying to cry. I was just in so much pain that tears were literally falling down the chair. And they also had me like laying on an angle where like my head was lower than my feet. Like I was laying like this and it was just really uncomfortable. And oh my God, I mean, my teeth look good. I have no cavities as suspected but why did that have to be the most painful 15 minutes of my life the rest of the appointment was fine like when they're cleaning it when they're like doing the brushing and stuff like that part is just like it tastes disgusting but whatever she does with that damn scraper it needs to be against the law because i was bawling my eyes out like that was not that was not okay i'm gonna do p.o box unboxing of all the stuff i got on my way here with a live audience Picture of Harry Styles. Oh, this is from Jazz. Oh, it's like Christmas. Oh, cute. Thanks. I should read this before Christmas, but it's literally in two days. This is the card. Thank you. Amazon. Oh, another one. Wait, I just screenshotted this literally two seconds ago. I literally just screenshotted that to read. Okay, well, it's not focusing. But thanks, who's this from? Thank you, Amanda. Oh my God. This is from Christina, I think this is a book she wrote. I don't know my, she asked what my Enneagram is and I don't know mine. Do you know yours? A personality yeah. test? I'll have to take the test. I'll do it tonight. Take care of your type. An Enneagram Guide to Self Care by Christina S. Wilcox. Wait, this is so cool. I'm gonna take the test tonight so then I can read about my type. Are you gonna do a skin? Oh, Eric's gonna do it right now. Wait, I wanna do it. We're all gonna take the Enneagram test now. BRB. It is important to me to avoid pain and suffering at all times. Isn't that like, oh yeah, I feel like it's more accurate for you than it is me. <laughs> I'm not afraid to tell someone when I think they are wrong. Ooh. I am afraid to do this. I am very afraid. <laughs> this is gonna take a while. I do not hesitate to call people out when they are behaving badly. <laughs> We're taking a personality test. What's that? We're taking a personality test. Oh God. <laughs> this might be a good night to try to fire pit. We have oh. sticks. You can forage for sticks out we in the yard. Stick, yeah. We just got our results. I'm three wing two. Craig, what are you? Five W four. And what are you? Nine W one. We're all different. Theirs are more similar than mine. Whatever Craig's highest ones were, were all my lowest ones. But now we're gonna look in the book at what we are. You're the, the observer. That makes so much sense. Eric is the peacemaker, oh, and I'm the hope. achiever. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Type five, mm -hmm. alert, insightful, curious, innovative, introverted, and private. Your core desire is to be self-reliant, competent, and useful. Your fear is being inept, dependent, incapable, and depleted. Your motivation is to be smart and get to the bottom of things, to protect themselves from the unknown. They crave mental stimulation, and they feel things much deeper than they let you know. Wow, oh, Greg, you're a sensitive soul. <laughs> You only have a certain amount of social energy in the day, and once you reach it, you will not be able to function unless you recharge. Look, you can read this whole chapter. I'll let you read it once we're done filming. <clears throat> the Peacemaker. Reassuring, accepting, stable, and diplomatic. Core desires is to be unaffected, at peace, and connected. Their fears are being cut off from love and separated from someone or something. Their motivation is to resist potential conflict, to sustain a comfortable and balanced environment, and to avoid what may upset their inner harmony. Your daily affirmation should be, my presence matters. <laughs> oh my god, that sounds so depressing. Nine wing one. Have an intense conflict within themselves that they have a hard time voicing. They are more prone to perfectionism. Maintaining peace means maintaining order. And they are very self-critical. Although they see both sides to everything, they usually have a set of morals to which they are dedicated. I feel like that's very true. They love being in a relaxed environment, uninterrupted by the pressures of life and relationships. <laughs> that's pretty yeah. accurate. Oh, so <laughs> Coco, I got that on video. She just fell for no like, reason. Don't that. Please don't eat that. The achiever. Versatile, motivated, influential, and charming. Their core desire is to feel important, invaluable, and successful. Their core fears are being worthless, humiliated, or seen as a loser. <laughs> is it true? Yeah. I don't, I don't want to be humiliated, unimportant, and a loser. 
seed as a loser. They're, yeah, that's even it's worse than different. actually being a loser. <laughs> their ultimate motivations to be affirmed as individuals and to be affirmed in their pursuits, to be seen as admirable and impressive in the eyes of others, to be the center of attention, to be everything they portray themselves to be. Energetic and incredible at networking. At heart, they can lose themselves and their identity in the pursuit of their goals and relationships, more prone to people pleasing. You may never get someone's approval, and that's okay. This is such a good book. That was so fun. We're gonna read our chapters. Thanks, Christina, for writing the book and sending it to us, so now we know more about ourselves. Now we're gonna eat Chipotle. Look how cute. She signed in, put my favorite quote. Loaded it up. You want notice? Sorry, my dogs are in here. I just wanted to quickly come in here and say a proper thank you to the gifts I opened earlier because I feel like I wasn't fully paying attention. But Amanda, thank you so much for sending me this. I literally almost bought it. And then also from Jas for sending me All I Want for Christmas. These both look so cute. And now I really want to read these. Are these both holiday romances? Because like now I need to read these. You guys are making my holiday TBR so long. And then I, I opened this card as well, which is so cute and sparkly. And it's from Vicky and she sent me two Taylor Swift bookmarks and she said to give one to Kylie, which is so cute. And thank you so much for your sweet card. Also Christina, who sent me this book, who me and my siblings took the test and read from this. I'm also gonna stay up and read my entire chapter of this and then let them read their chapters as well. It, first of all, it's so cool that you wrote this and I actually think this is such a good idea. And I definitely think you guys should check this out, if, especially if you're into Enneagrams because it has every single Enneagram type you can imagine and then like a full long chapter about your exact type and just wrote the sweetest note so thank you so much Christina and she said I never share my work with content creators because I'm so sensitive to criticism and I want everyone to love me so real I want to know Christina what Enneagram type you are I also got this super sweet card from Eunice I hope I'm saying that right but thank you so much for everything you said and I'm so grateful for you and I really wish you the best and thank you so much Puneet for your sweet letter and also she said she sent me an annotated copy of Lessons in Chemistry, or she's currently working on it right now to send to me. First of all, that was on my TBR for 2024, so I'm so excited. And thank you so much. And then last but not least, I got the cutest little Christmas card from Alyssa. Thank you so much. I just love everything you guys send me, and I'm so grateful for you. Especially, like, for Christmas time. I can't wait to get back home just to open my P.O. Box stuff. And now that we finished watching the Kelsey documentary, which was so funny, like, literally our whole family was tuned in. That's one thing that can bring us all together because it's... The Kelsey brothers, who I love, and then my family loves football, especially my brothers and my dad. So we all just sat down for like the past two hours watching that, and then we got Chipotle, and now we're gonna go outside and have like a little campfire, I think, and roast some marshmallows. So let's go do that. Hi. Maybe we should. <gasps> I mean, when you <clears throat> roast this up somewhere, do we not need it because the fire? Coco, you like the you fire? Do you like your marshmallow burnt or golden brown? In flames. <laughs> in flames. Actually. I like mine in flames too. Remember when I ate that marshmallow that was on fire? Yeah. <laughs> he put the whole marshmallow in yeah, his mouth he while it was he, like a he didn't sword. blow it out. <laughs> Are you serious? Did it hurt? Oh no, he didn't even know. We like <laughs> yelled at him. That's worse. Like, like it's on fire! No, you can't use that. What? I can't reach the fire without setting my hand on fire. It's not as bad over here if you want to switch spots. I need to ignite. You have to give it more time. Oh god. Oh my god, you can see the stars in my camera. There, That's the, one of the dippers. Okay, I'm inside. I literally smell like a campfire, which is so unfortunate since I literally showered this morning, so I'm gonna have to go shower again. But that just comes with sitting by a fire. I know it's gonna happen every time, but I think it's time for a question of the day before I go jump in the shower and then go to sleep because I'm exhausted and it's 11.30 now. I found a question from at huddy underscore mano who said, have you ever done an ancestry test before? What's your ethnic background? And I thought this was interesting because I have done ancestry an ancestry test before. I did it last Christmas. Okay, can this stay? I did one last Christmas. Um, I did Ancestry.com where you like spit in a tube and then you send it to a lab. And so I can kind of like let you guys know. My mom's parents um, are from Italy, but my dad's parents, we like weren't sure where they're from. My grandma always said she was German, but according to this test, she was not. <laughs> and then my grandpa was not sure where what he was at all my last name is german or austrian which is really weird because or i'll get into it 
I'll put like a screenshot of it on the screen if I remember, but I'm 33% Northern Italian, which is my grandpa on my mom's side. I'm 17% Southern Italian, which is my grandma on my mom's side. That's exactly half. So I'm 50% Italian overall, which my mom is 100% Italian. Her parents' families were immigrants, but I'm 21% English, which must be from my dad, obviously. Um, but we have no idea where that's from, whether it was my grandma or my grandpa on my dad's side, no idea. Then 10% Swedish or Denmark, they're both together. And then I'm also 10% Scottish. And then I'm only 7% German. Germanic Europe could be Austrian or Germany, I think. And then 2% Eastern European or Russian. So no idea where this last name came from why I have a German Austrian last name when I'm only 7% German. It's like one of my smallest percentages. But yeah, I, whenever anyone asks, I used to say I'm Italian and German. Now I'm just like, I'm Italian and a little bit of other European stuff. I think one of the coolest parts about living and being American is how every person is such like a mixture of different stuff. Like when I was living in England, a lot of people are just British. Like they're English through and through. Like their parents are British, their grandparents are British on both sides, which is cool too. But I think it's really cool in America how you're just like get like a little chart with all the percentages of the little things that make up who you are. And then you also get to see like a map just like has all this information about you that it can learn from your DNA. And then it also has like your family tree. Every time someone takes a test, it updates. Um, you can even see when like, if your family is immigrants, um, you can see when your original family settlers came, where they settled to, where they moved to. But it said like, I had settlers come from Europe that settled in New York. It says then they moved to New Jersey. It's also interesting, but yeah, that's my genetic makeup. I think it's really cool. So thanks for asking that. You guys should leave down below what your genetic makeup is or like whatever the correct term for that is. But yeah, I have taken the test. So I thought that was a good question. And that's gonna be the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe. If you wanna follow me on my other social medias, they're all linked down below as always. And I'll see you in my next video tomorrow. Bye.